picked up drums when I was 15. I knew like instantaneously that that's what I want because I ne I'd never heard a drum set up close like what it sounded like in a room and I was just like oh my gosh. I bring my studio on tour with me and I set up on stage and then I sort of like using Legos I'd use the building blocks to create songs. I, I could like record you know three minutes of drums and then do this I was like I can like write my own songs this is totally incredible. Almost every band that I see, you know, has someone doing some kind of loop, be it an ambient loop over something or, you know, but it's, it's pretty prevalent in music. I think people, a lot of time, if you're not really tuned into what's going on, um, you don't really know that it's happening, but uh, it's happening in a lot of bands. There's a lot of, a lot of looping happening out there. Dash is a magician of sorts. Um, he's a multi-instrumentalist. Um, he combines all of these different looping techniques and his own talent as a drummer and as a sampler to create this really multifaceted sound that's unlike pretty much anything else that's being made locally. The song Simple Exercises, for example, like I mean, I always know that the beat that I'm going to play is like boom, bop, boom, bop, or whatever, but sort of what comes after that or what I react to on that or like maybe I'll play one note a little bit late or like do a grace note or something and that'll send me in another direction. So that's what keeps it exciting because it's always a little bit different. So this tune starts out with me making a beat on here that is recorded into this, which is a, just a two second delay, right? So, and it's a five beat cycle, so it goes like this. Then I re-record that into the pedal down here. And I turn the pedal back on here. That's the first layer. Second layer. And now I can record the drums on top of it. the whole thing's kind of going and I turn off the pedal and play this the melody by itself or the theme and then I'm gonna kick on the distortion and play the melody distorted like that the head rush looping pedal allows you to erase everything except the first layer so that's kind of my whole shtick is just Build it up, break it down, but it keeps going because that initial loop I made in here is still in that pedal. Now the drums are in there, and then I just bring the melody in by the last time. Dash is unique because his ties to the music scene run so deep, and he has ties to the national scene as well. Um, he collaborates with his backing band, and if you made like a chart of all the people that are in his band and then the bands they were in, I mean, it would cover a web that ran all across the Twin Cities. Growing up, I was really into classic rock. Um, I still, you know, my favorite drummers growing up was like Mitch Mitchell from Jimi Hendrix and John Bonham. I saw Happy Apple play a show. And it was Happy Apple, Casino Royale, and Atmosphere. But it was incredible, it was like these three bands, local bands, and I was like, this is local music? And you know, so I saw, Dave King was playing drums, and I met Mike Lewis, and I hooked up with Dave and started studying with him shortly after that. I think it's cool in a way to have the music just speak for itself, and hopefully it's translating what is inside of me. I'm not ever setting out to do anything. I'm just setting out to make something that I haven't heard before or make out something that I like. And so if, it's got to, if it meets the criteria that I think it's great, and every time I hear it, it's like, this is pretty cool, then it will get released at some point. The thing that makes it done is a deadline. You could always do more. It's just good to just, at a certain point, just let go. I think the joy in something as complex as Dash's music is just the joy of understanding anything that takes more than one listen. You, you get to unpeel all these layers and you get to understand all the work that went into creating one moment of one song. and. That's really more rewarding than a, you know, a throwaway pop song that you can groove to on the first time through. <laughs>